We've been very lucky with the choral scholars we've had over the years. They're a really instrumental part of our group and our group dynamic each year. Partly it's a learning role and we take that quite seriously and we help with that. But also they are doing a professional job as well and that's a, a quite an interesting balance. I, I think the sheer volume of music they get through is, uh, is, is, is something that sets them up for the rest of their lives. We've done something like over 30 mass settings this year, including the Foray Requiem. We also did the Chichester Psalms by Bernstein. Oh, and we're doing Eric Whitaker's Cloudburst, which includes percussion and really extravagant use of, of music, which is fantastically exciting. I have plans to go to university, and, and before I did this, I wanted to have a year off to let my voice mature. True stuck out. Not only was it recommended to me by various directors of music, but one of the main reasons was the commitment at Truro isn't as fierce as some of the other places. There's a lot of space to do anything you want. I mean, most people would choose to get a, some kind of job, earn a bit of money. It's given me time to learn to drive, which is which is one of the things I've, I've enjoyed a lot. I've, I've had a few jobs down here. Learning to cook has been one of my um, favorite parts of my year. I'd never really cooked before at home, and I had to do it when I was here. It's very easy to fit in when you're with a group of people who all, you know, love what they're doing. It makes singing with people you don't know even easier and you sort of gel as a choir very quickly. Living in Cornwall has been particularly exciting because there's nowhere else quite like Cornwall in the country. Generally around Cornwall there's so many nice beaches and places to go surfing. One of the great things about the alto section at Truro Cathedral is that it takes male and female altos. A lot of more modern choral music was written with female altos in mind, which makes it a lot easier for cathedral choirs to broaden their repertoire. We welcome applications from altos, tenors and basses. It's important to say that we welcome applications from male and female altos within that. I'm very happy to talk to people at any time of year about what the process involves, if in doubt get in the car and come down, listen to the choir and talk to us and see if it might be for you.